Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And today I want to show you how I'm getting ready for winter weather. So a couple months ago, I did a video showing the setup on the 72 inch Artillion snowplow. With the deflectors, I believe it's actually 84 inches. So we've got that on the tractor. And while I was on vacation, I got a new spreader. And I've got a pallet of, I believe it's actually salt for stock tanks. But around here, a lot of people use it for ice melt. So I've got a full pallet of ice melt and this is my new Curtis Industries Fast Cast 400 spreader. It's an electric spreader that can be set up on a three-point mount or it can be set up on a receiver. Mine is for a receiver because I have a receiver on so many things. So I can easily put this on the back of the truck and you know spread spread salt off the back of the truck or most likely where I'm going to use it the most is on my four-wheeler. Obviously it would work well if you had a side-by-side -side or any kind of ATV or my heavy hitch lets me put it on the back of the tractor and if I really wanted to I could put it on the front of the tractor. That makes it a really versatile attachment that I don't have to dedicate the tractor to it. I skipped the unboxing because I think those are pretty boring and the setup was nothing really. It comes with a wiring kit. You plug in a couple wires according to the instructions. Now I have a switch and I've got a controller. You can also set it up with variable speed, but I did not opt for that. That's a good setup if you are going to wire it into your tractor and have that switch always on there. I'm going to read you the specs off of the Curtis Industries website just so I don't mess those up. The capacity is three cubic feet or 180 pounds. So that means you could put three bags of salt in there. I probably won't put that much. I definitely won't put that much today. Spreading width is from four to 20 feet. I guess that's how it's adjusted. Has a 10 inch steel spinner, runs on a 12 volt DC, seven to 10 amp, direct drive motor, standard two inch receiver, in cab controller. The actual hopper weighs 75 pounds. The other optional features are a weather cover, I didn't get the weather cover, variable speed control that I didn't get, drop mount, utility, adjustable deflector. So there's a couple other things you can get for it that might be helpful depending on what your application is. You know, how much are you using this? Are you sitting in a cab and clearing snow all day long? Then you might want an adjustable deflector and a variable speed control. For my application in Kansas where we don't have snow most of the time that sits here all winter long. We have, a, we have a, a snowstorm, we deal with it for a couple days, and then it's usually over till the next one. Anyway, I'll go ahead and get this loaded up and see how it works. Okay, here's the hopper, here's the spinner. Go ahead and turn that on. Pretty simple. Then we have a cable here that you can mount this cable or today I'm not mounting it. I'm just going to set it up there. When you pull out on that, it opens up the chute to let more or less material out. I also had to purchase this extender because the way the unit came, it wouldn't get, it wouldn't reach this without hitting the back on the four wheeler. The bag says multi purpose Kansas rock salt. I don't know if they got different salt for different states or what. That's a really fine material. I'm slowing that initial footage down and zooming in on it just so that you can see how much salt comes out 
if you open it up all the way and run the spreader at full speed. I'll definitely only open that halfway when I'm actually using it and I can see how having the variable speed would also be helpful in this application. As I edit this video, I realize that you can't even see my Artillian snowplow in the opening shot. So I'll put a link to the snowplow video towards the end of this video if you want to check that out. Last year, we had ice that sat on my driveway for a week, and I was trying to spread rock salt by hand, and my snowplow didn't fit, and it just became a mess where the people who work up in the shop couldn't get in and out of the driveway. So I really did need a spreader like this to avoid that happening again. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to see the material coming out of the chute. So I stopped up here and just zoomed in on it so you could see how that operates. And I let a lot of the salt get on the chute before turning it on. So it was kind of overkill. The hopper was almost empty when I did that little demonstration, but overall, it did a nice job of smoothly and evenly distributing the salt. Well, that seems to do a good job of throwing off the salt, which is all I need it to do. Curtis and Artillion have three versions of this rear mount spreader available and I chose the one I did because it also said on the list of materials you can use fertilizers and fine materials. I said I'm no expert on these but in the spring I'm gonna test this out and see if I can use it for seeding or you know a variety of different things you might use a spreader for. I'd like to fertilize all this hay area, and I may or may not use this for that, so it'll just be something I have to experiment with. Anyway, I think this is a pretty cool setup. It's going to be convenient for what I'm going to use it for. If you're interested in the product, go to Curtis.com or Artillion.com because I believe this product is available on either website. I appreciate you taking time to watch. I'm going to put links to more of our videos on the screen. And I'll see you next time.